So for the last year, I've been mucking around with hydroponics and aquaponics, never done it before, and now it is working super, super well. Yes, welcome back to another video. There'll be a link at the end of this video on this basic system and how it works. I'm not gonna go through too much detail in this video. We're just gonna compare the results of hydroponic plants and non-hydroponic plants. So these are all lettuce, iceberg, and assorted, have no idea what type of lettuce this is. These were only planted a week ago. There's all their new roots. They are just sitting in hydroponic solution. This one here, planted at the same time, is just in a high quality organic mix with organic fertilizer, mushroom fertilizer, decent potting mix, same lettuce, and this is crazy. Look at the size difference between these two plants. That is nuts. So they have about the same amount of leaves, but the ones in the hydroponic solution, the leaves are all double the size, if not bigger than double the size. Now, with a control, obviously one plant is not ideal. You want more than one, so I do actually have some more plants in my cage. If you haven't seen my cage before, this is to stop all the bugs eating our plants because we live in the subtropics and pretty much bugs love to eat fruit and vegetables and everything else. Let me open that and I'll show you the rest of these. And welcome to Inside the Cage. Look at those tomatoes, I know, so far bug free. So yes, very, very simple. This is the subtropics. There are the rest of my iceberg lettuce. Now, these are pretty much the same age as the other ones. Yeah, I thought one is just not a great control, so I'm gonna add a few more. Obviously a little bit different light here. If anything, it probably gets a little bit more sun. We're just early morning with not much sun. So if you wanna grow vegetables, obviously you need light, you need nutrients and water. That's pretty much the three basic things. We won't get into bugs and all that nightmare because there are so many little bugs that are determined to eat your plants before you eat them. But that is our another control of plants. So they're still doing well. Like if you planted these and they're not dead after a week, you're, you're doing well. I mean, yeah. But if we go and grab one of these, excuse us, Benji. Let's grab that one. Okay, we're gonna compare the size of these after a week. Yeah, okay, that is noticeably bigger. That is on par with those. Look at the size of the leaves compared to those. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planted in this pot, and that is one. So you can imagine if we had seven of these in that, yeah. Obviously planting seven, the reason you do that is really this pot is only gonna probably hold two or three, but not all seven usually survive. Bugs will eat them, one or two is not as strong as the others, and so on and so on. So that's where you'll see a lot of people plant more than what you should want, ideally. But with hydroponics, it's kind of the opposite. Everything you plant tends to go really, really well, unless you know you have you know, nasty little bugs or birds or something come down and wipe the whole entire lot out. You could always buy a cage like I have. And there is a video on this cage on my YouTube somewhere if you are interested in how to set it up and how much it was and all that sort of stuff, which is going probably about a year old now, I think, something like that, and it survived. Yeah, storms and all sorts of stuff. But look at that, that is crazy. So if you've never done hydroponics before, you really should do hydroponics. Now, these beefsteak tomatoes, which are one of the bigger types of varieties of tomatoes that you can easily get, I should have done them in hydroponics. And saying that, I just happen to have some little seedlings here of the beefsteaks. So we're going to actually set up more crack key method buckets, which are those there. I'm just gonna put this little lettuce back. Watch your little roots. Okay, as they grow and the roots get bigger, you don't wanna take them out because there's no way you're gonna get the roots back in there. So set and forget with that system. This system here, and I'm gonna show you this soon with the ones we've got around the back. This is the crack key method of growing anything in hydroponics, you just need Something like that, which is just pretty much, you want to sniff it, you're sniffing it. You want a bucket, you want a pot with holes in it, and you want a lid. Now, you can get these buckets for free. These were free just from some weird food place. Uh, okay, 
product description natural vanilla flavor spray dried I have no idea what that is, but it smells like vanilla. We're obviously going to wash these out, aren't we, Benji? Yes, we are. But all we're going to do is cut a hole in the top of that, have that recessed in, and I'll show you these soon in the video. And then our hydroponic solution is in there. So that's just going to be sitting like that. You can fill this up with rocks, gravel, whatever you want. You don't need potting mix for this. It's just to hold the actual plant in place. But these are going to be our new tomato buckets exciting stuff there will be another video on how i do this from start to finish so if you subscribe and click the little bell thing you'll see it when this video pops up about this otherwise we're going to jump to the lettuce around the other side which is going absolutely crazy in this crack key method system would you look at how crazy the amount of lettuce is here there's benji you're gonna eat some lettuce don't eat any lettuce well you can if you want now these are just the normal bucket method if i grab one of these that is insane that is not touching it it's just been sitting in a bucket with hydroponic solution yeah that is it look at the roots on that tiny little pots but we have a silly silly amount of lettuce i actually have so much lettuce that i can't eat it all <laughs> well i could but that is ridiculous i have gone through two buckets of lettuce and i still have what seven left very very easy so this is called the crack key method i've got a few videos on this so if you look at the end of this video there'll be links to those videos on how to set it up which is pretty basic but all it is is a bucket with hydroponic solution and a pot with holes in it but i will be doing a new video on that in the next couple i think it's birds flying past jeez um i will be doing another video on that in the next couple of days so yeah subscribe and then that'll come up in notifications if you've got that on anyway but yeah so easy I wouldn't bother with dirt anymore, to be honest. You can just recycle the bucket. You can get buckets for free, like I did with the buckets you saw at the start of the video. And then all you need to do is drill some holes in a pot and have some hydroponic solution, and you can get lettuce seeds so cheap now. Now, that is the same method there with tomatoes. So these tomato plants, if you watched any of my older videos, nearly got wiped out by mites, but we kept them alive and now they are going really well look at all the tomatoes on those there's a lot of tomatoes on that one actually ooh, if we creep over here look at that a lot of tomatoes i have trimmed a fair few of the leaves down on these but it's exactly the same method so there we go there are the roots once you fill it up with hydroponic solution you don't want to keep filling it up you just leave it and ignore it that is it very very easy all these tomato plants which have gone absolutely crazy what are you doing in there benji you watch out for snakes so in this system we have water dripping from those little lines there from that into these beto buckets and then the beto buckets are just going through that now this system has been set up a little bit longer hence why these plants are like four foot five foot tall now but it is the middle of winter and if i creep around here oh my goodness they have got a huge get early morning sun the water just trickles through these tubs which has got perlite in them probably a little bit more complicated method of doing this than the crack key method and they both work exactly the same i know i think if i was to do it all over again i would just have the buckets on a stand solution in the buckets and that's it i think the only good thing with this is if you've got hundreds and hundreds of buckets you know, if you want to go full crazy, if you have them all hooked up like this with the water dripping through, it's only one solution you need to make up as opposed to hundreds of different buckets of solution. But you can make a big tub of solution up and then you can use that to pour into the bottom of each bucket. So I think that's the only real difference between systems like this where the water is just trickling through continuously and systems like just the bucket where you don't have to worry about pumps or power or anything like that. But as you saw at the front, you can just use solar panels and solar pumps so you don't have to worry about any power whatsoever. While we're here, we should probably check out the aquaponics, which is fish producing waste for the plants. I need to do something about this because in the last week, it has grown crazy. So we have our cool basil. Look at that purple basil. Well, we have so much mint and I've stopped drinking gin. I know, that's a small problem. That was a mistake, wasn't it? So I guess I'll make some other drinks out of mint. 
but yeah, for someone that could not grow mint, obviously this method works really, really well. These are way, way too big now. So I'm gonna transplant these and I'm gonna redo this system with maybe spinach or something like that. But same sort of idea, there is a little tiny pump, which is like two watt pump or something like that, pumping the water into this. And then you have tiny little pots. And this is just one of those types that you can buy off eBay, just the crappy cheap ones. They work equally as well. The only problem you have with this sort of method, with these type of pipes is the roots can clog their little bits over. And if they do, it just means that your solution and your water is gonna overflow. So as long as you check that each day, you will be perfectly fine. Anyway, did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up. If you wanna watch any of the new videos when I upload them, just subscribe and turn your little notification things on and we will see you in one of the new videos. If you wanna watch the video on all the rest of the bits and pieces, click that playlist and there's a heap of cool videos there. Anyway, see you soon.